Moving on to the second step and the third video in my video series, we are going to be solving the corners of the first layer. As you can see on my example cube here, the sides match up along all four sides as well as the centerpiece, and the whole first face is solved. So it makes a small T-shape on each side, and the whole first face is solved. So in this step, you will be adding in these four corner pieces, which will then finish the whole first layer. So, on your normal cube, as you can see here, this corner is already in place. I have not done anything since the last video, so I was lucky while solving the cross to get a corner in the correct spot. So now, instead of having your cross on the top like you did in the last step, I would suggest that you put your cross in the bottom, like this. Now you'll be looking in the top layer for one of the four corners that has white on it. As you can see, this corner, this corner, and this corner all have yellow. And since they have yellow, they belong on the yellow face, which is opposite white. So that means there's only one piece here that I can insert from the top layer before I have to start taking ed corners out of the bottom. So once you find a corner, you position it above where it needs to go. And since this corner has white, red, and blue, you want to put it above the spot where it's going to go. Now, when you have your cube, as I will show on this one here, the corner that you have goes between the centers with its colors. So red, green, and silver in this case. So, on this cube, when this corner is in the correct spot, it will be between the white, red, and blue centers. So you position it above where it needs to go by turning the up face. As you can see here, white and white, blue and blue, and red and red. So there are three cases that your corner could be in. White could be on the top, white could be on the right, or white could be on the left. I will show you first with white on the top, which happens to be the hardest of all three. So after you've positioned above where it needs to go, you hold it on the top right, right here. I was holding it like this to show you where it was. You just hold it so it's in the right of the top layer here. Now what you want to do is, as you can see on the bottom of your screen, follow the notation, you do an R, U prime, R prime. It's a very short algorithm, and what it does is it moves that piece that was here to back here. But now there's no white on the top. Now when you position it above where it goes again, white, blue, and red, now white is on the right side, and this is the second case. With that first case with white on the top, no matter what you do, as long as you do that three-step algorithm, the white will go from on the top to on the right, and all you'll need to do is a U2 to bring it from here up to the front here. Now you position above where it needs to go, hold it so it's in the top right, right here. Since white is on the right side, you want to do an R, U, R prime. And as you can see, that puts the edge in the corner into its correct spot. So now that you're done with that one, I want you to move on to the next piece. There's one right here, and the other one's in its correct spot but flipped, and I'll deal with that in a minute. So you position it above where it needs to go. Red and red, green and green, white and white. So since white's on the top, you do the, the normal thing at the beginning. R, U prime, R prime. And now your piece is back here, and your white is on the right side but I'm going to change the cube a little bit just to show you the third and final case. As you can see here, the white is now on the left side of the piece. So when you put it in the top right, it's on the front. So now what you want to do is position this piece in the top left by turning the whole cube like this. So now this piece goes down to here with white on the left. And since white is on the left this time, you want to turn the left side up in a U prime, an L prime, sorry, an L prime, then a U prime, and then an L. 
Now we'll insert the corner in three moves. Now, as you can see, I've done three corners, and I have the last one here. But it's in the it's in it's in there, but it's not in the correct it's not turned correctly. So all you want to do is pretend as if you're putting this piece in here. And so you do pretend that the white is on the right side, and just do an R U R prime. Now your piece is right here with white on it. You can position it above where it goes and perform the correct case that you have in order to get it into its correct spot. So with white on the top, you do R U prime R prime. Now your piece is back here. So you bring it again on top of where it goes. And then white is on the right side. So you hold it in the top right, like this. And you do R U R prime. And now what you have done is you have solved the whole first layer. Now I've gone over every possible case where the corner is in the correct spot, but it is not flipped properly. And then I have gone over the case where it's in the top layer with white on top, with white on right, or white on the left. Now, there's one other thing I'm going to show you, but I don't really need to, is where the piece is in the wrong spot, no matter how it's turned. All you need to do is take it out by pretending to put this piece in there. But normally, the white, the piece that you want to put in there will be on the top, so just put that one in, and this one will automatically come out. So white's on the right, and on top of where it goes. So do an R, U, R prime. Now my piece is up here. Position it on top of where it goes, and perform the correct algorithm. Since white is on the left, I turn it so it's on the top left this time. Do an L prime, U prime, L. And that is the second step in solving the Rubik's Cube 3x3, doing the whole first layer. Please click on the link at the bottom here, or in the description on your right, and I will take you to the first two layers, or solving the four edge pairs, the four edge pieces on the second layer.